Good evening. Tonight we're going to do lesson 22 in your unit 2 unit. Use division and the associative property of multiplication to find factors. Here's a picto um, that shows different trees and how you can display them to show the groups of these trees, like how many trees we have all together. If you look at this first one, we have one column and there is six trees. So we have one group of six, which gives us six. Another way of doing it is that we have two columns of three. So two times three, two groups of three gives us six. We have two rows of three. So that's two groups of three, another way of showing it. And then again, down here, we have one group of six equals six. These are different ways of showing how we can group numbers together in um, to get a product. And it's, a, it's an array, and it's the same thing when we want to use the associative property. We can mix up the numbers all different ways and still get the same answer. We can do it in addition and in multiplication, and tonight we're going to be doing it in multiplication. So let's get started. In this example, 42 divided by 3, we're going to see if 3 and 42 go into it evenly. And we want to, this is basically saying is 42 divisible by 3? Will it go into it evenly? Is it a factor of 42? Remember, factors are numbers that we multiply together to get a product, the answer to a multiplication problem. So if we use our method of number bonds, and we put 42 here, and we want to break up 42, where 3 can go into it, well, we need to pull out and... 3 can't go into 40, but it can go into 30. It's the closest we can get. 42 minus 30 gives us 12. So now if we can see if 3 goes into 30, is 30 divis divisible by 3? If we divide by 30, we're going to get 10. And if we divide divisible by 3, we're going to get 4. So the answer is 14. So yes, 3 is a factor of 42. We can also show this by sh saying 14 times 3 does give you 42. So 14 and 3 are both factors of 42. Is 3 a factor of 47? Well, if we continue with our number bonds, put 47 and we pull out that 30, because that's the closest we can get to it, what's left over is 17. All right, so let's see. 3 can go into 30. Yes, it can. It can go 10 times. But 3 cannot go into 17. So is 3 a factor of 47? It is not. Is 5 a factor of 85? Well, let's try this out. Let's put 85 in our number bond, and five can go into 80. The closest we can get to it would be 50. And then how much is left over is 35. So let's see if five can go into it. Well, five can go into, five can go into 50 10 times. Can five go into 35? Yes, it can, seven. So 17 is the answer. So yes, five is a factor of 85. The other factors we could do is 10, um, excuse me, whoops, 17 times five are both factors of 85. Is seven a factor of 84? Well, let's try it out. Put 84 in our number bond. And we want to get 7 into that closest we can get to 80, and that would go 70. And then what's left over, 84 minus 70, would be 14. And if we divide by 7 here, we're going to get 10. 
And if we divide 7 on this side, we're going to get 2. So 12 is the answer. So yes, 7 is a factor of 84. Also, what's a factor of 84 is 12 times 7 does equal 84. So 12 and 7 are factors of 84. Is 4 a factor of 55? Well, let's try it out. 55. All right. And we pull the thing that's closest that 4 can go into 50. That would be 40. And then what's left over would be 15. So 4 can go into 40 because that will give us 10. But nothing times 4 gives us 15. So 4 is definitely not a factor of 15. So therefore... 4 is not a factor of 55. Is 6 a factor of 73? Well, let's see. Can 6 go into 70? No, but it can go into 60. 60, take away from 73, would give us 13. So 6 goes into 60. Well, that goes 10 times. But 6 goes into 13? No, it can't, because 6 times 2 is 12. There's nothing that you can multiply 6 to get to 13. So is 6 a factor of 73? No, because 6 can't go into 13. So 6 is not a factor of 73. The associative property of multiplication means that you can group the numbers in any order, and they still are going to equal the same product. You can put A equals 5, B equals 10, and C equals 6. In any different order, you can group it by 10 times 6 times 5 or 5 times 10 times 6, and you're still going to get the same answer as 300. That's the associative property of multiplication, grouping the numbers using parentheses in any way, and you're still going to get the same answer. When using the associative property, always start with the fact that you know, and then break the factors apart, and then group them in a different way. 72 is, is equal to 8 times 9. That's a fact. Break up 8, 2 times 4, times the, the factors that equal 9, 3 times 3. You can also do it again by doing, by taking 2 times 4 times 3 times 3, and then regrouping them taking 2 and the 3 and multiplying them together to get 6. Then you're taking this 4 and this 3 and multiplying them together to get the, ant the product of 12. So then you can see another way of finding factors of 72 is by using the associative property and breaking up the numbers in a different way. And you're going to get 6 times 12. So 6 and 12 are also factors of 72. But always start with the fact that you know, and then break up the fact of other factors apart, then group them in a different way using the associative property to find new factors. Okay, 72. My fact that I know right off the bat is 6 times 12, but I got to find other factors of 72. So what I can do is I'm going to use the associative property to help me find other factors. So here I have 6 times 12. Well, what is the factors of 6? Well, 3 times 2 times 4 times 3 are the factors of 12. Then I can mix it up again. I can take the 3 and the other 3 and multiply them together. And then I can take the 2 and the 4 from each other to get new factors. So nine, 3 times 3 is 9, times 2 times 4 is 8. So 6 and 12 are factors of 72, but 9 and 8 are also factors of 72. So as this, we have 4 factors of 72. Why are Christmas trees bad at knitting? Well, you got to solve the next two problems to get to the answer. Good luck. Is factor a, excuse me, is three a factor of 54? 
please use the associative property, number bonds, any method that works best for you to figure out if three is a factor of 54. And I need to see your work tomorrow. 36 equals four times nine. Use the associative property to find all the factors of 36. And of course, bring in your work tomorrow. Why are Christmas trees bad at knitting? They're always dropping needles. Christmas trees do make a mess. All right, I can't wait to see your work tomorrow. Have a wonderful night.